Hi, my name is John and welcome to another Zeros Ones video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install XAMPP or XAMPP onto a Windows 10 computer and we're going to be using port 80. All right, to get started, what you'll need to do is let's launch Google and type in the search box XAMPP. X A M P T and hit enter. And here's where you want to download it from ApacheFriends.org. So we'll click on that. And here for Windows, here's the Linux version. You want to get the latest version. This is uh, version 5.6 and running PP, PHP 5.6. So I'm going to click on download. And it's going to start to download it. I've actually already had it. So I'm going to cancel. And here I have it sitting on my desktop. So let's double click this to start the installation. This is basically telling you to avoid some problems. We want to avoid installing it to C colon backslash program files dot x86. We do not want to install it in there. You want to install into another directory. So just either create a directory on your hard drive or another drive where you want to install it. So click OK. And then you want to hit on Next. We're going to install everything. And here's where we want to change instead of installing here. Like for me, I have another drive. I have an E drive. And that's where I'm going to put it right here in XAMPP. So create a directory so you can install to on one of your drives. And I'm going to click OK. And now again, here's where I'm installing to. I'm going to click Next. And I don't need to learn more about Bitnami, so I'm going to uncheck that. Click Next. And set up as beginning or ready to begin. So I'm going to click Next to start the installation. And we're starting the installation. I'm going to pause the video because this will take oh, four or five minutes and I'll come back once we're close to completing the installation. All right, we're back. It's installed. I'm just going to leave that OK. That'll be fine. And click Finish. And I'm uh, US, so I'm going to click select that and save. Now, here's the problem you run into is XAMPP wants to run on port 80, and so does Windows IIS service or Internet Information Services. And those get loaded uh, on startup in. Um, with Windows 10. So what we have to do, you can either change the port that XAMPP's Apache runs on by going in here and you can configure, configure to a different port. Or what I like to do here is what I'll show you. Here's Net Services. Here's Port 80. It's a system. They call it a system. And PID4. That's what's using Port 80. So XAMPP can't use it. So, anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can shut off the IIS services, the um, 
temporarily uh, until you reboot your computer. So again, this will work until you, you reboot your computer so you can run XAMPP on port 80 under a standard configuration. So anyways, to do that, what you want to do is come over here to your start and right click and then go to computer management. And I'm going to quit this. All right, so here we are. Now we want to click on the services and applications, but here, just over here to expand it. And now click on services. And what we want to do is go down here to here, this World Wide Web Publishing Service. You notice it's running, and that's what's running on port 80. Now, because I'm not in here as an administrator, it's not even going to let me shut this off. I, I can right-click on it and see these are grayed out. But what you want to do, if you're logged in on an administrator and you have administrator rights, you can just do what I did, right-click on this World Wide Web Publishing, and then click Stop. Left-click and click Stop. And then you can close this. Now, just to show you that it works, because again, I'm, I'm logged in as a standard user, so it's going to let me do that. So I'm going to log out and log in as administrator. Let me do that. Sign it out. Okay, now I'm back. After logging out and logging in with administrator rights and making the changes to this, to this setting. Again, right-click here on your Start, and then go to Computer Management. Then service and applications, click over here, Whoop. and then services, and remember to scroll down to the bottom, oops, and if you notice now, because again I'm back in with the standard account so I can't make any changes, but I went in as an admin and I Turn, I stop this, this service, and this is the IIS services. So if you're doing uh, .NET development, that kind of stuff, you need this runner. Now this will work. So again, if you notice, it's not running now. Okay, and I'm back in as a standard user. Now this little workaround will work until you reboot the computer, and then, then, it, then, I, then those World Wide Web services will start up again. So the next time you want to use your ZAMP, you have to come back in, right-click, Computer Management, over here, Service Applications and Services. You have to come back in here again, and right-click and stop it. So here, now it's stopped, so let's go take a look. Let's see if it works. Let's go to... We gotta find Zam. It should be down here. Click on that. And actually I'm gonna pin this. Pin it to the taskbar. Okay, so now let's run it and see what happens. And I, I right click on this and then right click because I want to run it as administrator, then left click on administrator. After putting in my administrator info, notice no errors now. And let's start it. There's Apache on port 80. My SQL. Let's click on Netstat. Let's see what's running. Oh, look at there. On port 80. HTT pd.exe. There it is. That's ZAMP running on port 80. Alright. So that's how you do that. So we can close this. And now we have ZAMP installed on Windows 10 running on port 80. Okay. 
So I'm going to stop it, stop it, and quit. That's how you do it. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for stopping by.